Told you doing the police prosecutor's course would get you into trouble one day. Prosecutors generally get more than 30 seconds notice they're on. Oh, it's just a little reading aloud. You'll be fine. <laughs> What's a bit of public humiliation between friends, anyway? And, uh... He's the first one you can put away with my blessing. Jesse Dawson? Mm. Yeah, with my pleasure. Is his uh, little brother still one of your star basketballs? Yeah, he's the backbone of the team, actually. Can do him the world of good if Jesse goes away for a while, just to cool down a bit. Guess who? Uh, Julia Roberts. Close enough. Hey, Liz. <laughs> How are you, big brother? What are you doing here? Got a case handball to me. Ah, you were going to give me a call, let me know. You were coming, but some hypothetical dog ate your phone, right? Yeah, how'd you guess? No, I only got the call this morning. I leapt in the car and here I am in sunny Mount Thomas. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Please. So are you two the big, tough security cops for the day? Only Joe. No, I'm masquerading as one of your mob. The prosecutor was supposed to be doing this, totaled his car, and so I guess he got landed in the deep end. So you're prosecuting? Mm-hmm. Ooh, what fun. No, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. I've got to find my client and go through a few quick things. You couldn't point out a Jesse Dawson, could you? You're representing him. I am. Denim jacket over there. Thanks. It's, it's listed for a, a contest. You weren't hoping to put him away, were you? Absolutely. He's done one houseburg too many. We well, might have to rethink that. I never lose. Uh, so what did you see when you came home, Mr Ogden? A uh, back window had been jemmied open. And what was your house like inside? Completely trashed. Stuff everywhere, all over the floors. They'd been through all the rooms, touched everything. Did you notice anything else? Uh, they'd taken the VCR, a record player, some CDs, a leather jacket and a box. What was in the box? Mr Ogden? It was the only stuff of hers I kept, you know. I gave away the rest. This is your wife you're talking about? She died about a year ago, didn't she? Of cancer. Your Worship, this is not relevant to the matters 40. at hand. They, they stole the box. She kept all her jewellery and thank earrings, you, thank pearls. Thank you, Mr. I agree, Miss Stewart. Senior Constable, I will not allow questions pertaining to the witness's wife. Was any of your wife's jewellery ever recovered, Mr. Ogden? No, it's gone. All gone. Thank you, Your Worship. I have no further questions. Miss Stewart? Just the one question, Mr Ogden. You stated to the police that you did not see who it was that broke into your house? Oh, I know who broke in. It was that Dawson kid. Uh, but you didn't actually see him break oh, in? Oh, no, it's him. He and his mates are always hanging around my place causing trouble. But you didn't see anything? No, but I mean... No more questions, Your Worship. There was a video recorder, a rather old record player, and some very fine CDs, including the original soundtrack from South Pacific. Mr Danders, did Senior Detective Hashem and Constable Parrish visit your second-hand shop two days later? Yes, they were looking for the goods in question. I didn't mind handing back the record player or the VCR, but giving up South Pacific hurt, I can tell you. Yes, I'm sure it did. And did the police show you a photo board? Yes, sir. Constable Parrish made a small joke. She said she was sorry the photos weren't sepia. And did you recognise anyone from that board? Um, yes. And is this person here in court today? Yes, he's uh, sitting right over there. Mr Danders, you claim that the defendant sold you Mr Ogden's property? That's right. And did you ask him to sign your second-hand dealer's register? As required by law, of course. Did he sign as Jesse Dawson? No, he used the name Andrew Heath, as I recall. Did he provide ID? South Australian drives licence. Also in the name of Andrew Heath? Yes. Detective Hashem said it was probably stolen. So how do you know that the defendant and this Andrew Heath are one and the same? Well, I'm very clear on that, actually. Are you? I mean, there must have been other people in the shop that afternoon. What is it about the defendant that makes him stand out? You see, not too many lads of his age group are keen on the music of Rogers and Hammerstein. I attended the defendant's house on June 6 this year with Constable Joanna Parrish. Uh, we found a wheelbarrow in the shed. This was subsequently identified by Mr Ogden as belonging to him. Thank you, Senior Detective. Senior Constable. Senior Detective. When there's trouble in town, isn't it true to say that the Dawson family would be one of the first ports of call for the police? Your Worship, there's a number of people that help us with our inquiries. Well, would the Dawson family be amongst them? They could be, yes. Well, the Dawson family have been visited eight times in the past month by members of the police. Is that figure correct? I have no idea. Your Worship, I'd like to ask where this information is coming from. Miss Stewart. Kayleen Dawson, Mum. You can sit down, Senior Constable. I'm sure Miss Stewart realises that that's hearsay evidence. Do you deny that it's possible? I don't deny it. The Dawsons are known to the police, but we also run a number of sporting and community programs. Those visits so it's a recreational pursuit for the Mount Thomas Police to just drop in on the Dawson place for a chat, is it? 
Hi, Perry Mason, how'd you go? Oh, Benny Boy was an absolute champion. Yeah, being another rock wheeler at the other end of the table. Oh, well done, mate. Senior Detective Hashem is a liar and cannot be trusted. I did a lousy job. It was not a fun day. Well, was it more fun than doing all the filing, answering all the phones, doing the lunch run, the milk run? All I, the... on the other hand, have had a delightful time dealing with a cantankerous caterer over volivants, then arguing with my wife-to-be about seating arrangements. You should have liked, boss. Yes, if only we could. Afternoon all. G'day. Hi. This. How you doing? It's a bit of fun in court. Setting traps for unwitting police is your idea of fun, is it? <laughs> yeah, best part of the job. Amy, brother. You did all right today for a rank amateur. No, you did all right yourself for a sneaky lawyer. <laughs> so you're here for a drink and a catch-up? Uh, actually, I was hoping to catch PJ before he leaves. Oh, well, I can't guarantee the reception you're going to get after today. It's all right if I knock on his door and find out. How can I refuse my flesh and blood? Yeah. Um, which reminds me, I don't suppose I could camp out in his spare room again just for tonight. Uh, it's not a spare room anymore. I live in it. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry about that. Busy? Always. May I? I uh, am actually busy. Are you too busy to have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Yeah, tonight. Well, I do have a lot to prepare before I face this ferocious lawyer in the morning. I've never heard her described as ferocious before. Well, she is. Are you scared of her, detective? Oh, no, 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 no. I know her far too well to be scared of her. Come let me buy you dinner. Thanks, but no thanks. Patrick, this is my way of apologising, not for jumping you in court, but for being a little ungracious in my departure. You just accused me of harassment. You want to buy me dinner? That's work. You know that. Come on, let me make amends for my past sins. You expect me to buy this? Trust me, I'm a lawyer. God's sake! I'll see you later then. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. They seem to be getting along well. They certainly do. All right. I'm up for a drink. Anyone else? Uh, oh, unfortunately, I'll be arguing about hors d'oeuvres again. All right. So tomorrow. Yeah. G'day, Chad. What can we do for you, mate? Ben's going to give me a lift to basketball practice. Is he? Yeah, Chad just lives around the corner. It's a regular thing. I'll just grab me stuff. Oh, Steve. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, I'm not going to change my plans just because the law has finally caught up with his brother. See you tomorrow. All right, you ready, mate? Let's go. Should nail that three-pointer. Oh, it was a tough shot, mate. We'll beat him next time, eh? What are you doing here? Ben's just giving me a lift. This pig's trying to put me in jail. Ah, uh, Jesse. That's your own doing. Now, well, next time you walk, all right? Yes. You want to smack over the ear? Oi. You leave him alone. <sighs> You're going to make me. If I have to. Well, come on then. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Nah, Lizzie will get me off. Wouldn't count on that. She's a good sort, your sister. Bet you'd be a great root too. Shut your mouth now. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to give her the road test. Enjoy your last night at home, Jesse. Me? I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Safe trip, mate. Hey. Hey. Put some beer in here. PJ took it to the restaurant. Oh, Where have you been? Oh, I'm at the pub. Take it, you lost the basketball. Yes, by two points. There's no need to take it out on the fridge. Oh, it's not that. Don't worry about it. Why don't you give the bike a go? It's great for getting rid of some tension. Oh. Hey, guys, didn't have to wait up for us. Did you have a good night? Yeah, best curry I've had in ages. Oh, you know what they say about curry? The burn's going in. No, I promised you a drink. Uh, brandy? Ooh. Well, I should pass, PJ. I don't want to get done in by one of your colleagues for drunk driving. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Crash you for the night. Ben, Joe? Uh, no, no, I'm going to have a shower, hit the sack. Uh, forget the bike. It doesn't work. 
Morning. Morning. You sleep well? Mm. I got log. Really? I just thought we'd all like curry, you know? Nah, never better. How'd you sleep? Huh? How'd you sleep? Oh, yeah, fine. So the uh, the food was good at the restaurant last oh, night? Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. Liz's still asleep, is she? I doubt it. Well, she's not here. Yeah. I didn't notice it, dog. Hello there. G'day, how are you feeling? I'm never better. Kitty? All rise. Mr Dawson, the police found a wheelbarrow in the backyard of your house. Can you tell us about that? Uh, me and my brother bought it for Mum for her birthday. And how did you get the money? I uh, earned it washing cars with my brother. And can you tell us what you were doing on the night of the 5th of June? Stayed at home, same as always. Was there anyone else there with you? Uh, yeah, my brother Chad. For long? All night. Thank you, Mr Dawson. Senior Constable. You don't have a receipt for this wheelbarrow, do you? No. no. Where did you get the wheelbarrow? The garden shop. But you didn't keep the receipt, so there's no proof that it actually belongs to you? Well, I didn't steal it. No proof. And no one to vouch for your whereabouts but your little brother. Is there a question in here somewhere, Your Worship? The question would be good. The owner of the second-hand store has identified you as having sold him a number of items. The counsel seems to be repeating himself. That has been established, Senior Constable. You say you were at home, but you have no one to vouch for your whereabouts but your young brother. This is old ground again, Your Worship. Senior Constable. Yes, Your Worship. Mr Dawson, you have been found with a number of stolen goods, uh, allegedly stolen goods. Your alibi is dependent upon your young brother, and in my view, that does not stand up. Would you care to tell the court why we should believe your version of events? Simple. I, I didn't do it. I, I was at home. Uh, Chad, you've told the court that you and Jesse were home together that night. Was there anyone else there? No, just me and my big brother. What about your mum? She was down the pokies with her friend from over the road. And what time did she come back? Don't know. After I went to bed. And so you're the only one who can say for sure that your brother was there. This is already well established. Thank you, Miss Stewart. Move on, Senior Constable. You get on pretty well with Jessie, do you? OK. Has Jessie ever threatened to hit you? No. No? What about the other night when I brought you home from basketball? You worship the witness has already answered the question. Thank you, Miss Stewart. No, I'll allow it. Chad? He said he'd give me a smack over the ear. That's all. And did he also say that he would give you a smack over the ear if you didn't lie for him in court? No. You know how important it is to tell the truth, Chad? You and Jesse weren't home that night together, were you? So Jesse did go out. No, it was me. I did it. Chad? I broke into Mr Ogden's house. Not Jesse. It was me, by myself. You worship an adjournment? So the magistrate's given me until tomorrow to sort it out. Well, the case must have been pretty watertight to start with. Otherwise, the boss wouldn't have authorised the brief. Well, he's covering for his brother, obviously. Yeah, the same brother who threatened to give him a thick ear. Blood is thicker than water. And well, there's more to it than that. Chad knows that if he puts his hand up for this, he'll just get a slap on the wrist. But because Jesse's got a criminal record, he's going to do time in jail. Pretty smart thinking for one so young. Chad, lying to the police is not good. Lying to a magistrate is double not good. So you want to try again? I broke in. Took the things. Put them all in the wheelbarrow. Chad. Mrs Dawson, we need to be able to talk to your son without interruption. Oh, I don't know why. You never believe anything we say. Well, we can do this with a social work if you like. OK, Chad, so why did you choose Mr Ogden's house? Don't know. Is Jesse making you lie for him? Jess doesn't know anything about it. Well, our brothers look out for each other. They do things for each other. I did it by myself. OK, so let's say you did break into Mr Ogden's house. Why did you choose that one? It looked rich. You spent a lot of time looking for it? I guess so. Your brother had had a few problems with Mr Ogden, hadn't he? He didn't like Jess and his mates mucking around there. The story we got is that he'd been vandalising his house. So, 
Jesse didn't get along very well with Mr Ogden, did he? Guess not. So it was Jesse with you when you broke in? No, I did it by myself. It was all my idea. Right, so the stuff in the house, what did you do with it? Threw the box in the river. The video player and the record player to the second hand shop. I'm a reputable dealer, Mr Hasham. I'm fully aware of the laws in regard to the purchase and sale of second hand property. I bought those goods from that lad in the photo you showed me. Jesse Dawson. Yeah. Wiry, scrawny, unpleasant attitude? That's him. Well, if he was so unpleasant, why'd you buy the stuff? Well, if I only dealt with gentlemen, I'd soon be out of business. He told me the goods belonged to his mother. Right, have you ever seen his kid? You mean apart from in court today? Yeah. I believe I have. Indeed, he might have been with this uh, Jesse when he sold me the merchandise. You sure of that? I couldn't swear to it, but I've seen him a lot. He, he likes coming into the shop. He's got a penchant for old football cards. Then his story didn't waver. He's still saying Jesse sold him the goods. Yeah, but he identified Chad as being in the shop too, didn't he? And your sister's going to use that to cast doubt on his evidence. Ben, he's a solid witness. He'll stand up. Face it, Ben. Case has sprung a few legs. Couldn't break Chad's story, huh? No, I must be losing my touch. Hello, all. Oh, careful. Enemies approaching. You'll keep, PJ. It's my big brother I've come to see. I'm honoured, I think. Where does you serve a great coffee here? So are you heading back to Melbourne? Are you trying to get rid of me? Look, I'm going to be pushing for no case to answer. And what happened with Chad? Jesse's my client. Chad's no concern of yours. He can't be. Sorry. Come on, Liz. You must have dealt with families like the Dawsons before. <laughs> yeah, one or two. Chad's a good kid. He deserves a chance. OK, what about Jesse? Doesn't he deserve the same thing? Jesse did the burg at Wally's. You and I both know that. I'm his lawyer, Ben. What would you have me do? Talk to him. Explain to him the consequences of this for his younger brother. What consequences? Criminal record. If you don't want Chad to have a record, don't charge him. Simple. What message does that send? Well, you can't rescue the entire world, Ben. Haven't you learnt that by now? Who needs rescuing? Chad Dawson. Damn right. Sorry, Liz. Secret policeman's business. Hey, Wally. You got a minute? Jesse Dawson going to prison or not? Well, that's what we're working on now. You're working on it? You told me it was a sure thing. Well, when it comes to court, there's no such thing as a sure thing. What I said was that if Jesse got a conviction, it's more than likely he'd end up in jail. That little bastard just didn't steal some jewellery. He stole my memories. Yeah, well, we need some evidence. We just have a look around. We need to try and find something to help us all get what we want. Yeah, be my guest. Hey, Wally. That wheelbarrow that was stolen. Is that anything like this? Exactly the same. No way Chad could lift that by himself. That would all Wally's stuff in it. Then we'd be laughed out of court. Liz is going to argue that there is no case to answer. Why don't you beat it to it? Draw the charges? No, boss, no way. Well, at least that way you live to fight another day. If and when more evidence comes to light, you can charge him again. Like that's going to happen? It's only a burglary charge. If this kid's as incorrigible as you say he is, he's bound to slip up again. What if someone comes home the next time he's knocking off a joint? What if he assaults them? Or worse? There's nothing to say that Jesse Dawson is violent. Well, there's nothing to say that he isn't. Take some good advice, Stuart. Withdraw the charges. I'm not letting this drop. Mate, I have to ask, has this got to do with the fact that you're up against Liz? Oh, right, you think this is about sibling rivalry? Yeah, I do. Wally Ogden deserves justice. Ben, why don't you go get the lunches? Get yourself some fresh air. Chad! Hold up. You should be a champion, all this extra training. Now those three pointers go. Go away. Uh, I'm not going to go away. I've got nothing to say. Yeah, well, I don't think that's true. Stole the stuff, OK? Have you got any idea what that jewellery meant to Wally Ogden? His wife died. Did you know that? It was hers. The jewellery in that box, everything. It was all he had left of her. They're in the river, I told you. Yeah, well, we could dredge the river, I suppose. You know what I reckon? I think your brother's got it stashed away somewhere. If you help us, maybe we can get him to tell us where. Hey, Jack! What are you talking to him for? I'm not. I'm going home. I don't think much of your mate. Hi, right, Jesse. Is this your girlfriend you're showing off to, is it? 
Hello, Luelle. Your taste in boyfriends hasn't improved at all. Oh, I'll leave him alone. You must be thrilled to be going out with someone who's letting his little brother take the rap for him. Nah, he done it. Didn't you, Chet? Jeez, you're a big man, Jesse, aren't you? Stealing from a dead woman. Give up. It's not going to work, pig. Proud of your brother, are you? Taking away all of Wally Ogden's memories? I didn't know she died. I'll leave the kid alone. This is crap. I get home. You do what you want to do, Chad. I'm warning you, Chad. You can't trust a copper. You do what's right. Stay out of it! Stop it, Jess! That's assault police. Bastard, you can't do this! Uh, Just come straight through here, please. Ben? Mr. Dawson here just assaulted me. Crap. And we've got a bit of paperwork to do. It won't take us long. Please, how the hell does that happen? PJ, perhaps you'd like to accompany Mr. Dawson into the interview room and Constable Jones will join you in a moment. Excellent idea. This is a total crock. I've never heard that before. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? Sure. He threw a punch, took me by surprise, and I'm charging him. Which begs the question of how you came to be near him in the first place. He was hassling Chad. He was hassling Chad? Yep. And he just took a swing at you? That's right. Ben, you're prosecuting him on another matter that isn't going well. What do you think this is going to look like? I don't care what it looks like. Well spoken. Very professional. Chad says you've got Jesse here. Hello, Kayleen. Liz. So where's my boy? We'd like to see Jesse, Ben. He's just about to be interviewed. Why? Jesse assaulted me. Mrs Dawson would like to see her son. Of course. Come through. PJ? Jesse's mother would like to see him. This is crazy, Ben. This is harassment. This is called doing my job. Isn't that the line you lawyers use? I'll tell you what else it looks like. Point scoring. Well, it isn't actually about you, Liz. Surprising mm. as that might seem. Ben, why don't we let Liz see a client? You and I can continue our conversation. If you're attempting to get all the charges thrown out, then the vendetta approach seems to be working pretty well. This is not personal. Right. How would you describe it? He assaulted me. Yeah? What were you doing at the time? I ran into Chad... We were speaking. I think he was just about to have a change of heart. And then Jesse rocked up. You shouldn't have been anywhere near him in the first place. And the fact that your sister is defending him is hardly going to help matters. She's got nothing to do with this. Really? Yeah. Uh, someone at the front counter for you, Ben. Chad. You've been thinking about what I said? Yes. And have you got something you want to tell me? I want to tell the truth and give these back. Oh, great. The earrings. I'll give them back to the man. I'm sorry I took them. Okay, so you threw the rest of the jewellery in the river? Yes. You just said that three times. Are you deaf or something? I'm not deaf. Thank you for your concern. Whereabouts in the river, Chad? Off the bridge. Which bridge? Hetherington Way. Why? What? Well, why would you go to all the trouble of breaking in just to chuck the stuff away? That seems crazy. I looked at the stuff. The earrings were the only thing I liked. I wanted to give them to Mum for her birthday. Don't go using me for an excuse. You're on your own. Well, if Chad brought those earrings in, either robbed the house himself or he's in it up to his neck. Or he found them. Or his brother gave them to him to hand in. But why does he come forward now? I mean, why didn't he hand the stuff in as soon as he confessed? What's happened in the meantime to make him change his mind? Chad reckons they're a gift for his mother, but why would Jesse keep a pair of earrings? He's hardly the type to shower his mother with presents. Maybe they were to impress the delightful Luelle. Come off it. Have a look at those things. She's not going to wear those. Got a call out to the Dawson place. Neighbours making a complaint about a disturbance. All right, Joanna, come on. Ben, stay right where you are. Get rid of it now! Stay right where it is. I've had enough of your Just bloody leave family. Us alone. Jesse bloody yeah. Dawson remove wants my that property. Now, you can Mr. have it and burn the bloody gravel. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat you... myself. Just remove it. Oh, what are you going to do? Even... Arrest me? I can't even get me car okay, out of the car. Okay, just stick your door. Keep that little bastard away from me. Hey. Get off me. Get your hands oh, off me. Oh, you're fine, this. You right? Yes. Ow. Right. Finishes down the station, thanks. White and two. Thanks. You're an idiot, Wally. You've thrown away any credibility you've got by doing all this. Doesn't matter. That kid's never going to get what's coming to him. You could have made a real mess for you. Lucky for me, the police finally did something useful. Are you going to charge me? What's that going to do? Confirm to you that the world sucks and we're all out to get you. My wife died a year ago today. 
You're entitled to be angry. There's nothing fair about what's happened to you. No, there's not. So be angry. Just aim it in the right direction. That's just what I needed to know. Thanks very much. I've been doing some checking with a certain jewellery shop. Harold Craig's? Yeah, he's the man. And? I was thinking about what you said, you know, about Lowell and those earrings. Well, they are remarkably ugly. Well, you're not the only one who thinks so. Guess who's been into the shop for a chat recently? Lowell? Yeah, showed Harold some earrings she was thinking about having remodelled. Lowell, these are your earrings? Why? Are these your earrings? Dunno, might be. Well, Chaz says they're the ones he nicked. You always got them mixed up, because they're mine. Where'd you get them from? Bought them. Where? Can't remember. Oh, very convenient. You got a receipt? Sorry. Why would you buy something you didn't like? Well, I do like them. Why else would I buy them? Why would you be asking about getting them remodelled? You, you know, I tried them on the shop, and then I got them home, tried them on, and didn't like them so much anymore. Oh. Well, these earrings aren't cheap. And we've got a quote here from Mr Craig for the remodelling job. Yeah, now, where, where would you get that sort of money? Give us a look at these ones again. <laughs> it's those earrings. <laughs> Maybe I got them mixed up. Maybe someone gave them to me as a present. These are remarkable earrings. Chad reckons he stole them. Lowell reckons she bought them, and you claim you got them from your mum. Oh, it might not be the same earrings. I mean, this stuff all looks the same to me. They're the best you can come up with. Do you realise you'll be facing a custodial sentence if we find that you're guilty of this burglary? Chad did that, Berg. He's already told you. You put him up to saying that. No you way. bullied your kid brother into confessing for you to save your own backside. My client doesn't have to sit here and listen to this. Your client would be well served to tell the truth. Wait, my client doesn't have Bit to sit here and listen feud, to this. Eh? You shut up! That's it. We're off. Sit down, thanks. <laughs> I intend to continue this interview in a civilised manner. I'm with you, mate. No, you're not. You're on your own. Where did you get the earrings? Well, they, they could be the ones Chad gave me. You are deliberately targeting Jesse. I am not. Oh, you've got him on one set of charges, then you go after him, and you find him, and you goad him into attacking you, so you can then charge him with assault police. He deserves to be put away. How arrogant can you get? That's pretty good coming from you. You're always telling people what you think they should be doing as if you have all the answers. Doesn't justice mean anything to you, Liz? Don't you get tired of the moral high ground? At least I demonstrate some grasp of morals. Oh, you've got it all sussed, have you? That's why you're living in a, in a country town as a lowly senior constable running people's lives for them. You have no idea. No, I'll tell you what I know. Your behaviour today makes you look stupid as well as unprofessional. What? Come on. Whose turn is it next to have a go? It seems to be a national sport. Stuart, I realise this is very difficult for you, but I think you should withdraw the charges against Jesse Lewis. I want to keep on with it. Think about it. You've got until court resumes at 10 tomorrow. Fine. I never went near old man Ogden's place. You're in the police. Delivery! That's great show, is right? Yeah, it sounds about the right to me. Very good. Jesse Dawson, original record of interview. I thought I might have missed some vital piece of evidence the first time around. <sighs> it's a bit late for that, mate. You, uh... You don't look too good. Oh, thanks. No, I mean that the nicest possible way. I'm sure you do. Thanks for bringing this in. Oh, I'll take care of one of my rostered cooking nights for the week. So how come you're not off uh, gallivanting with everyone's favourite lawyer? Well, I, I did have a drink with her earlier. Lucky you. Want a tip? Do I have a choice? Don't take your frustration out on her. Why not? She's just doing a job, and she just happens to be your sister. She wants to beat me. Hey, it's not all about you. Always has been in the past. Why shouldn't it be now? Man Thomas Police, Senior Constable Stewart speaking. Right. Yep, I know the place. We're on our way. The Dawson house is on fire. Both five for the last. Right back. Chad! I didn't need to own those fireys. Chad! 
Go on in there. Go on in. Look, wait for the fireies. Be too late. They've got no gear. We've got no time. So there's no sign of anyone else in the house. So far. Any indication how it started yet? Was it accidental, deliberate, or act of God? No idea at this stage. Colleen's fine, though. They still don't know for sure about the boys, though, do they? No, they don't. You picked up Wally Ogden yet? Tess is on the way, right? Fine. Thanks very much. <clears throat> no, I really appreciate that. Davids are in on the search for the boys. They weren't in the house, Ben. And where the hell are they? Want some coffee? No, thank you. Cold pizza. I thought you only had that for breakfast. Mr Ogden! Mr Ogden was at home asleep in his bed. He's keen to help us with our inquiries. Very good. Sergeant, I'd like to sit in on the interview. Since I attended the fire that destroyed the Dawson's house. I dumped a load of gravel on their drive, but it doesn't mean I torched the house. But no one can vouch for you tonight. You know I live alone. It doesn't look good for you then, does it? I didn't light any fire. Well, Wally, there's no love lost between you and the Dawsons, though, is there? And they might still find a body in that house. Oh, for God's sake, I dumped the gravel, but I'm not going to try to kill someone. All right, so let's go over your movements for tonight. Well, after work, I, I went out to the cemetery, came home, cooked, watched television, went to bed. Didn't see anyone? No. Well, if that fire was deliberately lit, and we find any evidence at all that what you were... What did it take me for? Receive that. Evan's out there now. Until the arson squad arrive, all we can do is wait. Until they find those boys under some rubble. Young kids. Boys. They, they could be anywhere. Although you bet Wally is not our man. Well, you tell me who else it could be. Accidents happen. It's a pretty coincidental accident. Look, he's a bit of a nong, but this is out of his league. Opportunity. Means. Motive. No alibi. No evidence. Yeah, then we better get some. You are going home to bed. Yes, I am. Later. Mate, you look shocking. So I've been told. What's the word? Oh, the fireys have been through the house. There's no sign that anyone was there at the time of the fire. They're absolutely certain? Positive. Thank God for that. Chad. Where are they? You okay? Where are they? They should be here. Listen, hey, it's all right. It's all right. I'm with my mum. Listen, she's down in the hospital. They're taking good care of her, okay? Hey, do you know where Jessie is? Has all my stuff gone? Yes, mate. Right side. Come on, let's get you out of here. Look, mate. No, no, I'm being looked after. See you tomorrow. Mom's awake now. She's all right. That's good. Now are you. Okay. Really? You saved her, didn't you? Oh, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time, that's all. We've got no house now. I know. Got no nothing. Listen, we still don't know where Jessie is. Now, you know what happened tonight? Some bits. Okay, because if you can tell us what happened, maybe it'll help us to find him. They had a fight. You can't tell them I told you. Jessie and your mum? A bad one. 
He was throwing things. Mum was yelling and crying at the same time. It's OK. You're doing really well. I ran away to Aaron's house. Oh, Aaron, yeah, he's your mate, isn't he? Best mate. Yeah. And you got any idea where Jesse got to? OK, Chad, I'm going to ask you something hard and I want you to think about it for a bit. You be OK with that? Do you think there's any way that Jesse could have been so angry that he might have lit the fire tonight? Maybe. Double, double hey, espresso. Ta. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're a legend. Double, double legend. Any word? No Jesse to be found anywhere. We checked Lowell's place. She's not there either. Her parents got any ideas? No, it looks like she just grabbed a bag and left. They're worried. All right, check out trains and buses and let some David's know. How's Kayleen? Yeah, Are she's doing fine. Working? I've just been with her at the hospital. She doesn't remember a thing about the fire. OK, thanks a lot. Uh, found them. Dorian Jackson says they're at the Roadhouse hassling customers for a lift out of town. OK. Uh, we'll got come straight out. Yep, got it. And there's nothing left of the house? Mm, just ashes. We need to ask you about last night. Why? Wait, you... You think I set fire to my own house? Did you? No way. Is Mum all right? Care, do you? Is she all right? Smoke inhalation, that's all. They're discharging her from hospital as we speak. You can thank Senior Constable Stewart here for getting her out in time. I'm not thanking him for nothing. Tell us about the argument that you had with your mum last night. Who told you about that? My arsewipe of a brother. When I get my hands on him. You what? Beat him up? Chad seems to think that you might have lit the fire. What does he reckon I am? It's a good question. What are you? Look, I had nothing to do with that fire. He can't keep me here. Uh, got some news for you. The call just came through from the arson guys. It looks like the fire was started by a cigarette, but no accelerants. Oh, I'll give Jesse the glad tidings. Hang on, hang on, let's not rush anything. Miss Joe, you can't go guest for a minute. Yeah. It's all right, mate. I'm fine. Hey, Kayla. How are you feeling this morning? Better, thanks. I suppose better thank you for pulling me out of the fire. Hey, uh, we need to have a talk. Come through. So, what was the argument about last night? What argument? Well, we know you and Jesse had a big row last night and he left shortly after. What are you doing telling him our business? Chad was worried about you. That's the only reason he said anything at all. Oh, he's a good kid. Always trying to protect his family. Well, maybe it's time somebody returned the favour and protected him. What do you want me to do? Dob in one son to save the other? Chad's innocent. Why should he have to pay for his brother's mistakes? Don't tell him, Mum. Are you going to let him do this? He's got a nasty temper, that one. Just like his father. The argument was about the robbery. So Jesse admitted to committing the robbery. I overheard him telling Chad what would happen to him if he didn't get his mouth shut. It was a gutless thing to do and I told him so. And that didn't go down well. It's all right, mate. It's about time Jesse stood on his own two feet. Chad? Did you lie for your brother in court? Yeah, I lied about breaking into Mr. Ogden. You can't give me a shot! Miss Stewart, please tell your client Thanks, outbursts like that will not be tolerated. Where's would you worship? Senior Constable. So who did break into Mr. Ogden's chat? My brother. I just said I did so he wouldn't have to go to jail. You little bastard! That'll be enough, thanks. Miss Stewart will have a recess to allow your client time to compose himself. Three months. It's pretty lucky, if you ask me. At least Chad's safe for a minute. How'd you go? Well, I've been ordered to buy a new suit. One that fits. I should have taken your advice, Jones, and eloped. <laughs> hey there. Are you off? Yeah, I just thought I'd say, nice work, Council. How about a coffee for the ride? Why not? <laughs> 
Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You won't get a cup of chino like that in a city. Oh, he's a cop. He's a prosecutor. He's a coffee maker. There's no limit to this man's talent. Anytime you need any help. Are well, you looking for another hero mission? Well, maybe I'm looking for another opportunity to be stupid and unprofessional. Can you forgive me then? I'm suggesting you had no morals wasn't too crash hot either. Does that make us equal? What does equal mean? Equally stubborn, equally determined to do things our own way, equally oh. wrong half the time. Oh, that's a big admission, Councillor. If you're telling what I said, then I'm going to deny it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. This coffee's going to keep me awake all day. You want to have it outside? Yeah. yeah. Bye, hunky detective. It's hunky senior detective. Why is she leaving? Have you been dropped? To be dropped, I would have had to have been picked up. Oh, but you were. And now? Now what? Oh, you know. Why are you asking me this? I'm just curious, no big deal. You know, Parrish, if I didn't know you better... Hmm? You'd what? I'll tell you all about Liz, but we work together and sometimes a man has to maintain just a little mistake. You're a bastard. Told you doing the police prosecutor's course would get you into trouble one day. Prosecutors generally get more than 30 seconds notice they're on. Well, that's just a little reading aloud. You'll be fine. <laughs> What's a bit of public humiliation between friends, anyway? And, uh, who's the first one you can put away with my blessing? Jesse Dawson. Mm. Yeah, with my pleasure. Is his uh, little brother still one of your star basketballs? Yeah, he's the backbone of the team, actually. Do him and the world are good if Jesse goes away for a while, just to cool down a bit. Guess who? Uh, Julia Roberts. Close enough. Hey, Liz. <laughs> How are you, big brother? What are you doing here? Got a case handball to me. Ah, you were going to give me a call, let me know. You were coming, but some hypothetical dog ate your phone, right? Yeah, how'd you guess? No, I only got the call this morning. I leapt in the car and here I am in sunny Mount Thomas. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Please. So, you two the big tough security cops for the day? Only Joe. No, I'm masquerading as one of your mob. The prosecutor was supposed to be doing this, totaled his car, and so I guess he got landed in the deep end. So, you're prosecuting? Mm -hmm. Ooh, what fun. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. I've got to find my client and go through a few quick things. You couldn't point out a Jesse Dawson, could you? You're representing him. I am. Denim jacket over there. Thanks. It's, it's listed for a, a contest. You weren't hoping to put him away, were you? Absolutely. He's done one houseburg too many. We might have to rethink that. I never lose. Uh, so what did you see when you came home, Mr Ogden? Uh, back window had been jemmied open. And what was your house like inside? Completely trashed. Stuff everywhere, all over the floors. They'd been through all the rooms, touched everything. Did you notice anything else? Uh, they'd taken the VCR, a record player, some CDs, a leather jacket and a box. What was in the box? Mr Ogden? It was the only stuff of hers I kept, you know. I gave away the rest. This is your wife you're talking about? She died about a year ago, didn't she? Of cancer. Your Worship, this is not well, relevant to the matters 40. at hand. They, they stole the box. She kept all the jewellery and thank earrings, you, thank pearls. Thank I agree, Miss Stewart. Senior Constable, I will not allow questions pertaining to the witness's wife. Was any of your wife's jewellery ever recovered, Mr Ogden? No, it's gone. All gone. Thank you, Your Worship. I have no further questions. Miss Stewart? Just the one question, Mr Ogden. You stated to the police that you did not see who it was that broke into your house? Oh, I know who broke in. It was that Dawson kid. Uh, but you didn't actually see him break oh, in? Oh, no, it's him. He and his mates are always hanging around my place causing trouble. But you didn't see anything? No, but I mean... No more questions, Your Worship. There was a video recorder, a rather old record player, and some very fine CDs, including the original soundtrack from South Pacific. Mr Danders, did Senior Detective Hashem and Constable Parrish visit your second-hand shop two days later? Yes, they were looking for the goods in question. I didn't mind handing back the record player or the VCR, but giving up South Pacific hurt, I can tell you. Yes, I'm sure it did. And did the police show you a photo board? Yes, sir. Constable Parrish made a small joke. She said she was sorry the photos weren't sepia. And did you recognise anyone from that board? Um, yes. And is this person here in court today? Yes, he's uh, sitting right over there. 
Mr Danders, you claim that the defendant sold you Mr Ogden's property? That's right. And did you ask him to sign your second-hand dealer's register? As required by law, of course. Did he sign as Jesse Dawson? No, he used the name Andrew Heath, as I recall. Did he provide ID? South Australian drives licence. Also in the name of Andrew Heath? Yes. Detective Hasham said it was probably stolen. So how do you know that the defendant and this Andrew Heath are one and the same? Well, I'm very clear on that, actually. Are you? I mean, there must have been other people in the shop that afternoon. What is it about the defendant that makes him stand out? Well, you see, not too many lads of his age group are keen on the music of Rogers and Hammerstein. I attended the defendant's house on June 6th this year with Constable Joanna Parrish. Uh, we found a word.